So right now we are trying to be the leader in helping children who are in foster care in the state of Georgia by providing them with clothing, essentials, and um, meeting all of their needs to the best of our ability. Bloom serves more than 4,000 children each year in over 90 counties in Georgia. Their primary mission is to work to provide the basic necessities and offer any extras that they can as well. We like to have clothes that are youthful for children who are infant, I mean newborn, so preemie clothes, all the way through about age 18, so those teen type clothes. So we do accept adult sizes, you know, women's and men's clothing, as long as they're youthful enough for a teen. Um, but we're always looking for different clothes, shoes, new socks and underwear. We're always in need of school supplies and toiletries. If you think about it, a lot of these kids that are entering into care are coming in with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Donations to Bloom are available now at their Hive Donation Center, located off Highway 54 in Fayetteville. Outdoor pods make for an easy drive up and drop off. Families are also encouraged to volunteer at this time. Bloom says they'll provide socially distant spacing to keep everyone safe. Meantime, the staff on hand continues to create the best they can for every foster child they serve. Our big rule of thumb at Bloom is that if you want to put your child in it, we do not want to put these kids in it. We want to maintain a status of cleanliness and um, know that we respect these children when they're getting the clothes, they look like new or they are brand new so that when they're going to school, they can feel confident and not have to worry about, you know, the items that they have looking different from the other kids or feeling any different from the other kids because they're not different from any other child. And we just want to make them feel extra special. But if you don't have any age appropriate clothes for a baby all the way up to an 18 year old to help a foster child at Bloom, there's another wonderful place where you can donate your household items and that's at the Clothes Less Traveled in Peachtree City. But we're a department store, so we take furniture, accessories, clothing, housewares. Really, we're looking at back to school right now for kids that are going off to college. They can fit out an entire dorm. And we have both new things and donated items. As far as donations, is there anything that's a big no? So we can't take paint, uh, we can't take batteries, tires, things that are certainly safety items. It's illegal in Georgia, I think, to sell a used mattress uh, or old cribs, that type of item. And no guns. Uh, no guns, that is true. We've gotten some um, decorative swords before which we uh, sell through a, another supplier. They don't actually go on the floor, but yeah, we don't, we don't take things that are safety risks, but if it's something that you believe we can sell, bring it on. And the way to bring it is a breeze. Just follow the arrows in the back parking lot on the days the store is open, which is Tuesday through Saturday. Drop-offs are accepted anytime between 10 in the morning and three in the afternoon. It can even be a touchless drop-off where you pop your trunk and volunteers will remove your donated items for you. Clothes Less Traveled has been around as a nonprofit since 1997. In that time, they've given away millions back to the community. We do have some paid staff and after expenses of our store and our paid staff, every bit of the profits are donated back to the community and, and we do everything local. So local agencies can request grants from us and we grant all the profits back to the community. And it's been over $7 million since we opened. So we're pretty proud of that. If you'd like to volunteer repairing electronics, organizing clothes and items, or even working from home on social media or other needs, just fill out an application on the website you see here. So please, if you're thinking about volunteering and having a way to get back to the community, we would love for you to visit closelesstravel.org and come check us out. In Peachtree City, I'm Susan Stopford for thecitizen.com.